Today is Wednesday, July 3rd. This is Noreen Johnson, and here are the good news headlines of the day. Judge Juan Merchant has delayed former President Trump's sentencing in New York until September. Trump was found guilty in an unprecedented criminal trial last month on all counts of falsifying business records in the first degree following a six-week trial stemming from Bragg's investigation. On Monday, Trump moved to overturn his criminal conviction in the Manhattan case after the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that a former president has substantial immunity for official acts committed while in office. He also requested to delay his sentencing, which was set for July 11th, just days before the Republican National Convention, where he is set to be formally nominated as the 2024 GOP presidential nominee. Trump's sentencing date has been moved to September 18th at 10 a.m. A new national poll indicates that three quarters of voters say the Democratic Party would have a better chance of keeping the White House with someone else other than President Biden at the top of the party's ticket. The survey released on Tuesday by CNN suggests that Vice President Kamala Harris performs slightly better than Biden in a matchup with former President Trump. The new poll was conducted entirely after Biden's extremely rough performance during last Thursday's face-to-face showdown between the two major party contenders. According to the poll, 75% of voters and 56% of Democratic-aligned voters say the Democratic Party would have a better shot at keeping control of the presidency if Biden is replaced as the party's standard bearer. 60% of voters and 83% of Republican-aligned voters questioned said that the GOP has a better chance of winning the presidential election with Trump as the nominee than with someone else. In other news, a young man openly boasted that he turned in his own father to the FBI for attending the January 6th Capitol protest which was rewarded by liberals with nearly $200,000 he raised on GoFundMe. He said, I will save it for years to come. 21-year-old Jackson Reffitt turned in his father to the FBI and then testified against him at trial. His father, Guy Reffitt, was sentenced to more than seven years in prison. On January 16th, the FBI raided the family home and arrested Guy. Jackson later created a GoFundMe to cash in, saying he was interviewed on CNN and got so much support from thousands of people. A bill designed to make same-sex parenting easier and remove assumptions about traditional families is moving through the Massachusetts legislature. The Massachusetts Parentage Equality Act, as the measure is known, is meant to ensure that each member of a same-sex couple has automatic parenting rights concerning a child they begin raising together, biological or not. The bill also proposes language changes in state law to remove references to sex-specific roles in a family, like mother, father, and any presumption that a family consists of a married father and mother and their children. The Massachusetts House of Representatives passed the bill 156 to 0 on June 12th. The Massachusetts Senate, though, has not yet scheduled a vote on that bill. Today, the church celebrates the feast day of St. Thomas the Apostle. He was best known for his initial unwillingness to believe the other apostles in their claim that Jesus had risen from the dead and teaching the faithful about believing without seeing. As an apostle, Thomas was dedicated to following the Lord. St. Thomas, pray for us. And those are your Good News Daily headlines. This is Catholics for Catholics. May God bless you and may God bless the USA.